Hey everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. Now today we are going to keep it real and we're talking about what to expect when you are breastfeeding, especially at the beginning. Now my sister-in-law just had her first baby. She's a brand new mom and there's been multiple instances that she's been like, why did you tell me that? Well, here's the thing, new moms, they don't know what questions to ask because they've never been a mom before. And moms that have been there and done that, well, we don't want to scare them or overwhelm them with all kinds of information they may not want to know. So you kind of wait for the questions to come up. But today we're going to just give it to you straight. Um, because you know, in the movies when moms are breastfeeding and the angels are singing and they're in a white flowy dress and everything is great. <laughs> it's not the reality. It's not how easy it is to start breastfeeding. And so here's the thing, we're just going to kind of lay it all out there for you. And we did, we talked about this on Facebook um, a couple days ago. And if you haven't been to our Facebook page, definitely go there. The moms there are so smart. They are so, it's a community where they help each other. So we talked about it. So I wanted to share um, some of the most popular things that you, you might expect when breastfeeding. So first of all, it's hard. It is. Um, it's probably one of the hardest things you're going to do besides giving birth, of course, um, because it's hard to get into a rhythm with you and your baby. You've never breastfed before, so this one's going to be hard and it's probably going to hurt. I'm not going to lie. It's not supposed to hurt. And if it hurts, that means there's a problem and you, you definitely want to get, you know, ask help, go to a lactation consultant. Don't be too proud to ask for help. Just ask for help because it's probably a bad latch, which a latch is when the baby latches on to your nipple, and if they do that incorrectly, it's going to make you sore, um, and that's going to hurt. Um, you want to expect to cry at the beginning. I did. I um, It hurt at the beginning, and every time that baby latched on, it hurt so bad that, and I, I didn't want to give up, so as the baby's feeding, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm all hormonal because I have a baby. It's it's a mess. It is. It's like not like in the movie, so expect you know, that it's okay to cry. It's okay that it's super hard. Um, you want to stick with it. Um, expect people that have never breastfed before to discourage you, to try to tell you to quit. Don't listen to them um, because it gets easier. Um, expect it to get easier. After a couple weeks, you will find a rhythm and it will be like, you know, easy peasy. Um, one of the moms on Facebook said it best that even though breastfeeding is natural, doesn't mean it comes naturally to everybody. It, it takes a while to figure this out. I mean, you've never had a baby like latched onto your boob all the time, right? <laughs> so, you know, expect people to discourage you and also expect people to encourage you. So what you want to do is you want to find those people that are encouraging you. Seek out help, go online, find a community that is going to support you. So you want that. Um, expect that you know, the weight isn't gonna fall off for everybody just because they're breastfeeding. <laughs> now you have to eat more because you need more calories to breastfeed. Um, but you always hear those people that are like, this is the breastfeeding diet. I lost all the baby week and all the baby weight and oh, I don't know, two days from breastfeeding. That doesn't happen for everybody. It didn't happen for me. I didn't just drop the weight. It might've been the brownies that I was eating at the same time, but just know that the breastfeeding doesn't make weight just disappear. It helps because it burns all kinds of crazy calories, which is great. Um, but just don't feel discouraged if your weight doesn't come off like magic, like everybody acts like it does. Um, expect, like I said, when, when I said it hurts, expect your nipples to be kind of sore at the beginning. I mean, they've never been through that much action. <laughs> and so, you know, even taking a shower is gonna kind of hurt. They're gonna sting, they're gonna burn. It's, you know what, it, but it gets better. And by like week three and four, you're gonna be smooth sailing. You could probably, you know, <laughs> those nipples are gonna be worked in. Let me just say it that way. Um, also, you wanna expect that you're gonna be nursing a lot. You are, every two hours, you're gonna be on the couch or in a carrier nursing, you're gonna be nursing a lot. Um, because that baby's gonna eat a lot, and so you're gonna kind of feel like that baby's attached to you. Um, but that's great because it's your new baby. Um, but again, you're gonna feel overwhelmed. You're gonna feel overwhelmed by all of it. Um, expect people to kind of blame you that the baby's crying, as if you didn't feed them enough. Um, and that sucks. That sucks when you know the baby's crying. You don't know what to do. You just fed them, and someone's like, huh, "They're hungry. You need to feed them again," as if it's your fault. So. Expect people to blame you. 
Um, <laughs> expect, um, what else can you expect? Um, expect your big boobs to get huge. <laughs> like huge porn star huge, which is awesome, which is awesome. But you know, it's, it's a little, like I said, overwhelming um, to have huge boobs. You're, you're gonna have to find special nursing tanks and nursing shirts and your normal shirts that should fit because they just should, aren't gonna fit over your boobs. So you're gonna wear a lot of button down shirts and you're gonna wear a lot of button down shirts anyway because you need easy access for the baby to feed. Um, so, you know, expect them to be huge. Another thing is expect your boobs to leak at the craziest time. Um, here's the thing. Your body starts to get in tune with it. And when your body hears a baby crying, um, your body just assumes it's your baby and your baby's hungry and starts to lactate. So you could be standing in Starbucks in line and you could hear a baby that's not yours crying and all of a sudden your shirt's wet, you're leaking. <laughs> Eventually your body gets in tune that that's not your baby cry, but sometimes, you know, you're going to just start lactating um, when you hear another baby cry. Um, sometimes you'll wake up in the morning, even with nursing pads in your nursing bra that you're going to wear to sleep and your shirt's completely soaked because you just, you know, your boobs leaked all night. Just expect it. It just happens and it's cool. And you know, it's, it's part of being part of the nursing club, let's say. Um, so. Expect your boobs to leak a lot. Expect to have to wear nursing pads in your bra a lot so that, you know, you don't get random wet marks. Expect to get those random wet marks in your shirt just in the craziest, most embarrassing times and just play it off because um, that's going to happen too. Um, expect to, you know, expect to love it. Expect to, once you get through the hard part at the beginning, expect to love the bond that you have with your baby. Um, and if you don't, you will, um, expect, you need to just, you know, give it a chance. That's all my thing is I'm not judging for people that don't want to breastfeed, um, because it's not everybody, you know, some people just can't do it. Um, but it's just try. That's all I ask is because, you know, you might surprise yourself and you might absolutely love it. Um, so expect it to get easier, expect it to be amazing, expect it to be way cheaper than formula <laughs> because your milk is free, formula not so much. Um, so expect it to be really easy on the pocketbook because did I just say pocketbook? I did, I, I'm a grandma, awesome. Um, <laughs> the, ex, okay, so expect it to be easy on the budget. Let me be cooler. <laughs> expect it to be easy on the budget um, because breast milk is free. So I just, um, that's just some of the things, some of the things. Like I said, I love that lady's quote that breastfeeding, sure, it's natural, but it doesn't come naturally to everybody. So just give it a chance. It gets better and um, you know, it's hard. It really is hard. Um, here are some things that I just wanted to tell you that you're gonna need, some must-haves that's gonna make it easier. You are gonna want nursing pads. Nursing pads are little pads. Let me open it up for you. Oh, <laughs> they are little, circular pads that look like this. They have sticky tape on the end, the other one side. They're gonna stick to your bra right over your breast so when your boobs leak, this gets wet. It's like a little pad for your boob. So you're gonna need nursing pads. They also make um, one, these are disposable. They also make ones that you can wash. So like reusable ones. Um, expect to need some, some boob cream. That's what I like to call it, it's lanolin. Um, this is by Lansano, and this is for the cracked nipples, the sore nipples. It's going to soothe. It's going to be your best friend when your nipples start to get cracked and hurt, and you're going to rub this on like nobody's business. And um, a tip that if you have sore nipples and you're going to take a shower, it might burn. Put this on first because it's kind of like it's a barrier um, to your nipples so that it doesn't hurt. Um, you're probably going to need a nursing pillow, and a nursing pillow is going to go around your waist and lift the baby up for proper positioning, and this is going to help from the get-go to get a proper latch. Um, so you're going to need a good nursing pillow if you're like me, and you're going to take that baby out and about with you, and maybe you just are a little modest. You might need a nursing cover just to cover yourself up. You can use a blanket, but blankets fall on the floor, and then you're exposed. <laughs> so a nursing cover because it goes around your neck and it allows you to see your baby still is a great thing to have. Um, if you're going back to work and you're gonna still breastfeed, you need a pump because you, um, unless your baby's going to work with you, um, you're gonna need to pump. So you're gonna need a really good pump. 
And other than that, there's not a lot of gadgets that go, if you pump, that's a whole nother video with the storage bags and all of that stuff. Um, but if you're just breastfeeding, you don't need a lot of products. This is just pretty much convenience for mom so you don't always have a wet shirt. And obviously the nursing pillow is my must have for breastfeeding. If you have nothing else for breastfeeding, it's a nursing pillow um, is what you need. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to do a real candid video about what you can expect when you're breastfeeding and um, just give it a chance. You're gonna be overwhelmed. It's gonna be scary. Oh, there's yellow poop at the beginning. My sister-in-law, she begged me to tell you about this because she was very alarmed by the fact that the baby had yellow poop at the beginning. She's like, what? <laughs> this is not poop. I go, no, no, the baby pooped. It's yellow, we're good, we're good. Um, so she just wanted to let me know that breastfeeding babies have yellow poop longer. And I wanna tell you that yellow poop stains. So be careful with the yellow poop because it will stain outfits like no other. Um, so there you go. That's, that's it for me. I think that we've talked enough about breastfeeding and boobs today. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Like I said, the, the women on our Facebook page and the dads too are amazing. They are so helpful and it's like a community and you don't want to miss anything I have to say, right? Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and so we can have these chats um, other times. And that's it for me. I'll talk to you later. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye. Now I'd like to thank our video sponsor this month. It is Moonlight Slumber. They make the most amazing crib mattresses and they're definitely one of our favorites. Um, I love the square corners because it makes it a perfect fit in every crib. It has a waterproof cover. It's PVC and vinyl free. It's non-toxic, hypoallergenic. It is antimicrobial. These, and this one's the foam one and it's super lightweight for easy changing. Basically, they make the most amazing crib mattresses that you can put in your baby's crib. Um, so please support our sponsor because, you know, our sponsors are the ones that are supporting us to help us bring these great videos to you, you know, such as what to expect when breastfeeding. So please support our sponsor, and our sponsor this month is Moonlight Slumber. Bye!